All right, we're going to work on um, drawing a realistic eye. The first stage is to figure out the shape of the person that you're drawing, um, the shape of their eye. If they're smiling at all, um, you'll notice that the bottom part is slightly curved upward. The cheek is pushing the eyelid upward, and that um, creates a happier looking eye. The eyeball is placed within the eye socket that you just drew, and um, following that is the iris. The iris is the colored part of the eye, and that's where you get all your interesting kind of lines and colors within. The dark part of your eye is called the pupil, and that's actually a hole, so it's going to be all the way black, but we're actually going to place a highlight over top of the eye just to give it a little lifelike glare to it. After coloring in the pupil and leaving the highlight white, you can start on the iris by slowly bringing out some of that darkness with your pencil. Always go away from the pupil. By layering these small lines, it will give you a realistic look. You can also come in towards the pupil, but remember it has to be a straight line straight to the pupil or away from the pupil. And um, don't go overboard on this because it, it's easy to um, get too many lines and really lose focus of the eye. Um, the outer rim of the iris is um, very dark. It can be black, but um, around the highlight area, you're going to want to keep it fairly um, light compared to the other areas. The white part of your eyes aren't completely um, white either. They have a slight shadow caused by the upper eyelid. You can bring out some of those darks on top too, created by the the shadow of the brow. Again, don't get too dark too quick. The eye lid actually extends further above the eye and same with the bottom. Um, that's where you're going to get your eyelashes. Eyelashes um, are mistakenly placed on the wrong line a lot of the times. They're actually on the area between the eyelid and the eye ball. Again, don't darken too much. Um, a lot of times the bottom eyelid will only have a shadow underneath its eyelid instead of on top of the eyelid. Um, eyelashes will always um, go from the side. They'll go out to the right, and um, the top part of the eye will go up. And um, towards the nose side of the eye, the eye the left side of the picture, um, you'll have fewer eyelashes seen. Bottom, um, you don't see as many eyelashes, but you will see a hint of um, some of them. And also, um, just adding a little bit of shadow right there um, will give it a little bit fuller look to it. Um, blended, if you are not wearing makeup, a lot of times it's a little bit more blended. The shadow created by the brow line will also um, add a little dark above to the left, top left, and um, a little bit below the eye as well. I'm using a blender here and I'm just smoothing out some of the, the lead that I placed on the paper, um, giving a little bit of a smooth gray tone. Also going back and touching up a little bit of the eye you don't want to blend it too much because you want to keep those lines in there, but um, giving a little bit of a glossy look will um, create kind of a more realistic appearance. And there you have it, a realistic looking eye. Um, again, you might need to do some touch-ups. Uh, the most important thing is just to look for highlights, look for lowlights, and uh, lots of practice. Your first time, it's probably not going to look perfect, but um, you can always try again. Thank you.